Hey guys, you ever wanted a way to do markups on your drawings inside PDM without having to manage separate files? Well, this Q-tip is for you. So this Q-tip is using the default out-of-the-box functionality of drawing markups that was added in 2018. And we've had several requests for this, and so today we just thought we'd do this Q-tip to help you out. Let's say that we've got a drawing. I'm sitting on the drawing preview, and by the way, I always use display and then options and then show full UI and SOLIDWORKS preview. We're going to check it out. Then we just select the drawing, and then we click view file. eDrawings opens up, and then the file is already ready for us to do our markups. Now if we click the markup pencil, and then click the labels tool. Here we can have an arrow that says to points down here like this change diameter to 1.25 and then we might put in a cloud that highlights where the markup is and that should be good enough. Since this is using the markup capabilities built into eDrawings into PDM we don't have to maintain a separate file. You can do that but let's just start off with this method and see how far it takes us. Then we just click Save Again, it's, it's embedding the markup directly in this SOLIDWORKS drawing file. Close it, and now we check it back in to design for changes. So let's take the file, right click, and we change state. Edits required. We want to send both the drawing and the part back through. SOLIDWORKS PDM has the capabilities built in, and so now this will stay as part of this version in the file's history, which is fantastic. It's in the CAD whip state. Let's just say I'm there and I received an email notification saying that the, the file has changed state. We need to go in and modify the file, implement those markups. I open the file in SOLIDWORKS, and the first thing that I see is the markup. And the markup is now in the feature manager tree as an eDrawings markup. It's got the comment that was made by Tim.web if there's any comments. Also, slight hint here, use the design journal. It's great for design teams of any size. All I have to do is open the part. It's already checked out to me. Modify that diameter. Change it from 1.0 to 1.25. Rebuild, save, close, return to the drawing. All of a sudden, my dimension has changed. Now the great thing about having this capability built into PDM is that every modification that you make in the drawing markup phase where you can have one person make the markup or you can have a team of people make the markups because they're all different versions. They check it out, make the markup, check it in, and then it's just an additive process. It's a fantastic feature that's been added. Thank you, SOLIDWORKS. Once that is in the version history, I don't have to keep this markup. I do have the option to hide the markup but it still shows up in the PDM preview and I don't want to take any chances of it just continuing on into production. I'm going to delete it. Now the markup has been deleted. We can then save it, grab both these files, check them in. Now my drawing preview shows that the markup is no longer in the file. I'm looking at version 20 of 20. If I go to the history and I go get the earlier version that showed the markup, I made the markup here and then that's when I transitioned it. Let's go get that version. PDM knows exactly the versions that have to be gotten. Close it out, and the markup is still part of the version history. Hopefully today's Q-tip's been helpful to you with this built-in functionality straight from SOLIDWORKS. Believe in the Q.